What's up everyone, this is Siren8610. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh! news today, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! news, so we're going to do it all in one video. First off, we have uh, a V-Jump uh, Fiesta promo card. This is one you can get at the V-Jump Fiesta, which is in Japan. It's a Black Feather Damascus the Polar Knight, which is Blackwing for us, so it's a new Blackwing card, which is pretty cool. Uh, I have a picture of it right there. As you can see, this is from the manga, though, what it looks like, so we don't know what the actual card's going to look like yet. It is a Dark Winged Beast Effect Monster Level 3, 1,300 attack, 700 defense. Its effect is, and its effect is just translated, so the wording is kind of weird, so bear with me. And it's also uh, unconfirmed so far, but it'll be something similar to this. Uh, activate by sending this card from your hand to the graveyard. Face up black for the monster you control. Gain 500 attack until the end phase of this turn. This effect can only be activated during the battle phase of your opponent's turn. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting card because it only can be activated in your opponent's turn. Don't know if it's going to add uh, 500 attack to more than one black wing monster or not. That's what's kind of weird about the translation, but we'll have to see. And you have to send it from your hand to the graveyard, so it's kind of like Clute in that effect. So yeah, hopefully it'll be pretty usable, I don't know. It's kind of nice though just to see uh, black feathers or black wings get more support. Alright, we have some more uh, uh, black wing slash black feather stuff. Anyway, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's manga volume 4 has been announced for Japan, which is May 2nd of this year. We'll probably get it, I would say December or January would be my guess, I don't know. Uh, and it's another Black Feather slash Black Wing monster, and that is uh, Graham the Twinkling Star. This is a Synchro, though, so that's kind of neat. It is a Dark Winged Beast Synchro Monster, level 5, 2,200 attack, 1,500 defense. And uh, that's the picture from of it from the manga, of course, like uh, the last card was, too. Uh, its effect is still unconfirmed, but its manga effect is that uh, it requires one tuner monster and one or more non-tuner monsters, and once per turn you can special summon a level 4 or lower Blackwing monster from your hand. That's what it, that effect is in the manga, so it might be changed a little bit, but I expect that its effect will be somewhere along those lines. And uh, we'll get a, a confirmation sometime really soon, hopefully. So yeah, we'll, like I said, probably be, my guess would be December to January. More than likely December, I think. I think that's uh, when the last one came out. So yeah, anyway though, next we have Duelist Edition Volume 1 and 2. Uh, some people might have already heard about these, uh, some of the news has been out on these uh, so far, but there's been some really cool uh, exclusive cards that have been announced for them. First off though, we'll talk about uh, the first one, which is Volume 1. It is uh, a reprint set of Power of the Duelist, Cyber Dark Impact, Strike of Neos, and Force of the Breaker. It's all those, uh, it's cards from all those sets kind of put together, sort of like how Dark Revelations and uh, Dark Beginning and all those were. This is kind of a similar thing. Uh, there's going to be three additional secret rares in each of these packs. The first one that has been announced, though, is Miracle Contact. Finally, we had a pre, uh, we had a please print video on that card, and uh, I have a picture of it, what it looked like from the anime. We don't have an official picture yet. Its effect, though, which is still a little bit unconfirmed, is that you can return to your deck, hand, field, or graveyard fusion material monsters that are listed as a fusion on the fusion monster card that has uh, elemental material Neos as a fusion material monster. And special summon that uh, one fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring the additions it has. So yeah, uh, that's a pretty cool card that will allow for uh, the Neos fusions to be summoned easier and maybe even quicker. So yeah, uh, this will hopefully help out people that want to use the Neos cards. This should make them way more usable, and it's really nice that this card is finally getting printed. It should have been printed from the start, in my opinion, because it makes it where the Neos cards are actually usable. I mean, they're a pain to bring out otherwise. So yeah, hopefully this card will really help them out. Don't know what the other two cards are yet. There's a little bit of a spoiler list, but not much so far. And for Volume 2, there's been a card announced. Volume 2 is going to consist of Tattoo Evolution, Lighter's Assault, Phantom Darkness, and Light of Destruction, and plus their own three secret rares. One of the cards that has been announced for it so far is Advanced Dark. This is a field spell that uh, Jesse used in the and the second the third season yeah the third season i keep thinking that it was the fourth season but no the third season when he battles jaden he turns evil for a little bit and uh he used and here's the effect it's unconfirmed and uh, remember that gem beasts are crystal beasts and that uh, the ultimate gem lord is rainbow dragon i want to read off this effect all right uh, the attribute of gem beast monsters on the field as well as in the graveyard is treated as dark during the damage calculation of a battle involving a gem beast monster, you can uh, send one gem beast monster from your deck to the graveyard to have the damage calculation of your life points from that battle to zero, so you take no damage. Also, if a ultimate gem lord monster attacks, negate the effect uh, of the monster selected as a attack target. 
for the rest of the battle phase. So yeah, it can negate monstrous effects. I believe this card will also work with the Dark Rainbow Dragon as well, and this should make the Dark Rainbow Dragon a lot easier to bring out and more usable with the regular Crystal Beasts. So yeah, what do you guys think? It's a little different than getting the Advanced Crystal Beast, but this is a good substitute because I know it would be kind of a pain to actually get each of the Advanced Crystal Beasts, and for people that may not know, those were the evil versions of the Crystal Beasts. All seven of them had a counterpart called the Advanced Ones. You can look them up. They're pretty cool. I don't think their effects were much different, but they were basically just dark versions of the cards. So yeah, though, anyway, I know that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! news. I'm out of breath from talking about all of it, but what do you guys think about all this Yu-Gi-Oh! news? Of course, I believe that the Advanced Dark and the Miracle Contact are the best cards that have been announced so far, and it's nice to hear about new Blackwing stuff, but please tell me what you guys think in the comments. All the links to all this stuff will be in the description, and please tell me if you like how this, all this you can use was in one video versus a bunch of different videos. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Please tell me what you guys think. Of course, like always in the comments, please subscribe for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news, and uh, that is everything. So yeah, anyway, later guys. Thanks for watching my latest video, be sure to subscribe before you leave, and also be sure to leave a comment and rate this video before you leave as well. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, later.